Sometimes sharing a file may not be your best option, and you just need to be able to send that file or folder to someone. One common method, of course, is to send those files or folders through email. We're going to go ahead and show how to do that through Gmail, but the principles are similar for most of our email applications. So let's go down here. We already have Gmail open in Chrome. And we're going to start by clicking the Compose button, and we have a new message pop up. Let's go ahead and attach our file here really quick. You can see we have this paperclip icon. That's pretty much universal in most email applications. Attaching a file will be done through a paperclip. So let's go ahead and click that. It's going to give us an option to find the file that we want to attach. And I happen to know this one is on our desktop. So we'll click desktop and we'll scroll down. And we're going to attach the file to move document. We'll click it and then select open. And you can see down here that it has uploaded the file. It says file to move.txt, and it has been inserted into our email. Let's go ahead and email this to our friend. Come down to our subject line. Always be sure to include a subject line. And in the body of our email, we're going to go ahead and type Geronimo. And then we're going to go ahead and click our send button. And now we have sent this file to our friend Theta Sigma at learnkey.com. And then he'll be able to view it and do whatever he would like with that file. Now, if you wish to send an entire folder through email, it's important to remember that you should probably compress or zip that folder before sending it. Compressing or zipping the folder will actually come in handy in all of your folder sharing techniques. Why, you ask? Well, because sometimes folders can have several files, and by zipping it up, we're essentially packing everything together and making sure that it travels and stays together. Think of it like a trip to the post office, where you want to send your companion a bunch of old McSweeney's. Instead of sending 13 packages, it will be much more efficient to pack them all in one box and send them together. Simply put, zipping a folder makes it so the folder can be bigger on the inside. Well, zipping a folder is pretty straightforward. So we're going to go ahead and minimize our Gmail app. And we're going to go down to this folder, the folder to move. And we just right click. And this is the same process on a Mac. Right click and we're going to go to send to. On a Mac we would actually just go to compress. And we'll go to compressed or zipped folder. And we'll click that. And notice that it has created a new folder over here on the left with the same title. But notice that the icon is different that it has a zipper on the folder and the folder contents aren't spilling out all the place like this one is. And from here, the process of attaching this to an email would be the same as attaching a file. We'd simply go to the paperclip icon, look for our zipped folder, and attach it there.